Okay, so uh, this is the uh, Z Flip 3 uh, that I purchased in August 2021 uh, from O2. has a two-year warranty. Uh, as you know, uh, this has a uh, manufacturing fault with the screen across the middle. Uh, when you fold it, you will eventually get uh, splits in the screen. And I'm just filming this because we're going to show you the returns process to O2 and uh, see how it pans out. Now the company they use is, um, let me find the first page without showing you all of the details. So this is going back to, uh, where's the address? I think it's Ingham's, something like that. I'm struggling to find it paperwork with one hand. Anyway, so what it is, is a repair assessment form that has been filled in. I had to speak to O2. It's taken me a number of days to contact them. You are fobbed off uh, originally uh, with their India department. Three different people uh, took the call and handed it on to somebody else. First one said it's not under or any sort of warranty. When I pointed out that uh, most of uh, O2's products, uh, phone-wise, have a two-year warranty, she then passed me to somebody else, who then passed me to somebody else, and who then uh, passed me to somebody in uh, New Yorkshire somewhere who took the details. Um, so, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, this is a manufacturing defect. You can actually you probably can't see it after look back on older video. Ah, oh, there you go, you can see it. The screen is split all the way across. Uh, they're like little micro cracks where it folds in half. Um, I've been forced to upgrade because I cannot afford this to just fail one day. Um, it's got all my authenticator apps, YubiKey, uh, you know, there's a whole load of stuff on there that I really don't need uh, failing all of a sudden. So we're going to get this back. They have sent this repair assessment form, they call it. There's my tracking reference number. Uh, interesting that they will do a prepaid uh, envelope, uh, sorry, a prepaid label with um, raw mail. Uh, and then right in the small print at the bottom, it says it doesn't cover for you for uh, any loss or damage and you're uh, advised to purchase a special delivery at your own cost. So um, yeah, class, uh, not impressed with that. So it's going back for its repair assessment. It's been picked up by Raw Mail tomorrow and, uh, and then I'm going to follow this through and I expect to be jumping through hoops and they'll be claiming, now you've cracked the screen and all that bollocks, uh, but I won't be having it. And if I need to take them to court, we'll be starting a small claims against them uh, for, uh, you know, it's a year and a half old. It uh, packed up a number of months ago. Oh, sorry, it didn't pack up. The screen was, uh, you know, splitting like that some months ago. So it's probably lasted uh, not even a year, I think, before we had issues uh, with it. So I'm going to update you on this returns process and uh, what lengths I may have to go to to get it uh, sorted out. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. OK, so I'm back with uh, part two of the... Uh, Z Flip 3 uh, that I've just uh, published the video on. Uh, they've had it uh, a number of days. I got a text uh, a couple of hours ago saying that they would not be repairing the phone under warranty, uh, and that was you know was that was it. That was all the text uh, said. So um, I've spent an hour getting through to O2 and uh, eventually got through to somebody and they said well look bear with me for a few minutes I'll go and find out why they're refusing and they're refusing to uh, repair the phone because there's a scratch on the back of the phone and there's also a small mark on the screen <laughs> uh, that's their excuse for not carrying out an under warranty repair so it uh, seems like uh, it's any excuse rather than hold their hands up and say this uh, 
Z Flip 3 screen has a pretty serious <laughs> design flaw. Anyway, so uh, next stage is um, uh, legal action. I will take them to the small claims court and uh, I have just written out a pre-action protocol letter. Uh, it pretty much states what my case is, um, you know, what goods we've got, uh, what's wrong with them, uh, what we're claiming and I'm actually claiming for uh, 18 months where I cannot use the phone because it uh, can't be relied upon and I've all, in fact I've already upgraded. The contract length was 36 months and uh, uh, half of that is what I won't be able to use the phone for uh, so I am claiming uh, I think it's about £474. I've sealed the letter up now. Um, so uh, that is what I am claiming. As far as mediation goes, I have offered uh, to accept a, a repaired phone at their cost, which is what they should have been doing anyway. I can't believe it. It's like taking your, your car back <laughs> that's under warranty with the engine's blown up. And uh, I'm terribly sorry <laughs> we're rejecting your warranty claim because you've got a chip in the windscreen. <laughs> I mean, unbelievable. Um, they must be doing or trying this on with, you know, hundreds and hundreds of uh, customers. Uh, you know, the screen split at the fold. It really makes no difference whether there's a scratch on the back of the phone or, or not. You know, an 18 month old phone, of course, it's going to have a few marks on it. Um, fortunately I've videoed uh, all of this uh, in that first video which is up on the screen there and uh, I'd love to see them argue a design fault uh, uh, that's my fault because I've scratched the phone on the back <laughs> and I've dented the screen. Uh, unfortunately I did, I, I rubbed my fingernail on the screen thinking there was a bit of dirt on there and I actually made a little indentation in the screen, probably on this video actually I'll have to have a look. But it's got, it's got absolutely no bearing whatsoever on the fact that the screens on these, you know, have these little splits all the way across. And the phone's working perfectly. The screen still works, but it can't be trusted. I cannot carry on using that for the next 18 months, hoping that nothing goes wrong with the screen. Um, I've got various security apps on it. Well, I haven't anymore. It's all on my S23 Ultra. But uh, if you can't rely on the phone, it's of no good to uh, to anyone kind of it failing in an emergency situation so that's that's where we are with that so anyway pre-action protocol letter uh, you can write your own or probably the best is drop off to uh, the witch uh, consumer website just download one of their templates and fill the form in um, O2 now have 28 days to respond uh, if they don't uh, then I will simply start a small claim in the small claims court very inexpensive to uh, do that but there are certain procedures that you must comply with and one of them is this pre-action protocol a letter just detailing you know what you've got contract numbers uh, what the problem is what you're claiming what you would accept and uh, you've got to give them reasonable time to respond 28 days is a reasonable uh, time uh, I've listed what documents I'm relying on and that will be my contract um, uh, yeah a few things like that and obviously this video and I've got some images I think I've taken of the phone so that is going off uh, today and uh, we will update you uh, when we hear anything at all